channel. I'm Rachel, the owner and creator here at The Eclectic Cottage in Spokane, Washington. Today is Friday and for today's video I have another thrift flip for you. And as you know, if you've been following along, I have been working on upcycling some of the items out of my stash to use in my Christmas displays. And I'm trying to stick to the same color palette to give everything kind of a cohesive look. And I did the same for this video. I grabbed five more items out of my stash and use the same colors I've been using so that they will blend really seamlessly with the items that I've already finished. So I hope you like them and I hope you enjoy the video. And without further ado, let's get to those projects. Project one is the ceramic burr that I picked up a little bit ago. Somebody had painted this thing pink and I wanted to change it up. So I am going over it with two good even coats of DIY's layered chocolate, which is this really pretty rich brown. And I am stippling the paint on, which basically means pouncing my brush on to give it a little bit of texture. Once that's done, I decided to try something I've seen a little bit on the internet. I didn't know if it would really make a difference with this little bird, but I went ahead and tried it. So I sprinkled it with baking soda while it was still wet. And then once it was dry, I brushed off the excess baking soda. And this should have given it a little bit more texture, which it did. And then what I did is I took some Decor Wax in the color Eternal by Redesign with Prima and I dry brushed that over the entire bird and it caught on all of the beautiful texture that I had and just gave it a really, really lovely luster. I just love how it turned out. Project two is this set of candle holders I got a while ago and they have this weird metal banding on them. I had already taken it off of the large one and boy what a pain in the neck this was to get off of these. But the thing was it was sharp and it was dented and dinged and had jaggedy edges and I was really afraid somebody would cut themselves on it. So I took it all off. It took me a while but I got it done. And then then I went in with two good even coats of DIY's color called Faded Burlap, which is this beautiful light brown kind of taupey beige color. And I, like I said, just gave them two good even coats of that paint before I moved on to the next step. So next up is sealing my paint and for this I decided to go with wax and so I started with one good even coat of DIY's clear wax. This is a pretty easy process. You simply brush the wax on and then wipe off any excess with your shop towel. The trick is not to have your brush too goopy. You don't want a thick layer of wax. You just want a nice thin even layer of wax and then wipe it back with that shop towel or a t-shirt or any other lint-free cloth you have. Now for these I decided I did want more of an aged patina so I am going in with dark wax once the clear wax is done so you can see me doing that here on the larger candlestick and I use a little bit of mineral spirits to thin out my dark wax sometimes it really depends on what I'm applying it to but it definitely helps it be a little bit more workable when you're putting it on something and mineral spirits is great to have around too because if you do add a little bit too much dark wax or something looks a little too dark you can use the mineral spirits and actually lighten things up you can also use the clear wax as kind of an eraser to go over any of your dark wax wax and make it lighter so just doing the same technique on the smaller candlestick and then wiping back the excess and then these guys are done. Thank you. 
Now, hopefully Project 3 isn't too controversial. I had heard from a few of you that these Victorian ladies could be collectible and maybe worth a little bit of money. Then I looked into it and honestly, I didn't see that it was worth a whole lot. And when I bought this frame, I knew exactly what I, I wanted to do with it. So I just went ahead with my plan. So I started by giving it two good even coats of DIY's crinoline, which is this beautiful creamy color, and used my Mr. Bottle to loosen up that paint in places just so that it would go down into all the grooves a little easier and once that was done and dry I used a redesigns mold called tree sparkling season to create this beautiful casting of a Christmas tree I did use two-part resin for this and then I applied a little thin coat of quick and thick to the back and glued it down into the frame once that was done I went over it with one good even coat of crinoline and then moved on to sealing my paint so I started with clear wax and I'm just going over the entire piece with one good thin coat of clear wax working it down into all the grooves and then wiping back any excess with a shop towel once that was done I really wanted to bring out all the beautiful detail not only in the frame but in the Christmas tree as well so I did go over this with one good even coat of DIY's dark wax I used a little bit of mineral spirits to thin it just so that it wouldn't be too goopy in all of the the grooves of the frame or the Christmas tree and I went over everything just very gently with that dark wax and then wiped back excess with my shop towel I kind of worked around the Christmas tree first and then once I had that area all beautiful the way I wanted it, I went ahead and tackled the tree with the dark wax. So I just again worked it down into all the grooves and then wiped back the excess with my shop towel. Decided I wanted a little more wax in the center so I did that and then wiped back the excess with my shop towel. And once that was done to add some a, a little bit of gleam and sparkle to this piece, I took that that same decor wax by redesign dabbed a little bit on the tip of my finger and just went over all of the details of the frame and then the Christmas tree I love the effect of this gold wax over the details in this piece and I'm very happy that I went ahead with my plan because I absolutely love how this came out Now this chest I have hemmed and hawed over trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do with it and I decided it would be a beautiful like treasure chest for Christmas. So I removed the hardware and then, well, the latch, and then I began the painting process. This did take a minute trying to work the black paint down into all of the grooves in that wicker. Um, and I used a fair amount of water to help kind of loosen up that paint and make it run a little bit and get into all of the, the nooks and crannies on this piece. And so I did just give this one good even coat of DIY's paint little black dress, which is this beautiful velvety black color that I just love. And up to this point, I still didn't even know exactly how I wanted to finish this chest. I had just decided to go ahead and paint it, start there, and the rest would come. So I decided to go ahead and distress it. And I used my damp shop towel to give it a pretty decent distressing and bring back some of that beautiful wood tone from underneath the black paint. Once that was done, I needed to seal it. And I knew I wanted to go over it with black wax, but I did start with one good even coat of clear wax first. Brushed that on, wiped back the excess, making sure to go over all of the areas of the piece. And once that was done, I went over it with the black wax. Now, the reason I like going over black paint with black wax is it just seems to add a beautiful luster and really 
richen and deepen the black paint, which I love. So I went over the entire thing, like I said, with one good even coat of DIYs, black wax, and then moved on to my next step. Now at this point, I was still mulling over exactly how I wanted to finish this piece in my head, and I ended up deciding to go with a stencil. So I grabbed the stencil called Renata by Redesign with Prima, and I used the same uh, Eternal Gold Wax, the decor wax by Redesign as well, and a makeup sponge, and I very carefully applied the decor wax to the stencil. So I'm just going over this with a dab, dab, dab kind of motion and just making sure to hold that stencil tightly in place while I use that makeup sponge to makeup sponge to apply the wax. And I'm very happy with this decision and I think it looks stunning. Once that was done, I went ahead and dry brushed a little bit of that gold wax all over this piece just to give it a little bit more glam and a little bit of luster and make it look a little bit more like Christmas. Once I was finished with the gilding wax, this piece looked pretty finished, but I decided it needed a little something. So I went ahead and added a handle to the top. This is a handle I've had that I got at Hobby Lobby a while ago. I just figured out where my holes needed to go, drilled some holes for the screws to go down into, and added that handle, which I think was a perfect finishing touch for this piece. I did also add some a, a new latch to the front of it, which I didn't get on camera, but I am so happy with how this little chest turned out. My fifth and final project is this cute little pedestal table I picked up a while ago and I decided I wanted this to be a really pretty green so I grabbed DIY's aviary color which is this gorgeous Christmassy sagey green and I gave it two good even coats of paint of course letting it dry thoroughly in between each coat. Once that was done and the paint was dry again, I decided to go ahead and give it a little bit of a sand. I did want to distress this piece, so I smoothed out the paint first with some 220 grit sandpaper and then wiped it down really well with a shop towel and then went ahead and wet distressed it some as well. So I'm just going over all of the detail in this piece, just wiping back some of that paint to show that dark, dark wood underneath. Then it was on to decorating the top. And for this, I decided to go with a transfer. This transfer is called Willow Way. It's one of the new sets by Redesign with Prima. And I absolutely love the colors in this. I think they speak to Christmas, but this table could also be in your house all year long and not necessarily just at Christmas time. So I started off by placing my transfers the way I wanted them. I cut them all out and then just kind of layered them on top of one another, kind of figuring out exactly what my placement was going to be. And then starting with the very bottom layer, I began laying each transfer piece down. So working my way from the bottom up to the top. Now a little trick I figured out, if you know exactly where a transfer needs to be and you don't want it to move, if you fold the paper underneath it and then put down part of the transfer and then pull the rest of the paper out, you can place your transfer exactly where you need it to be. So since I needed these to all kind of tuck underneath that large flower in the middle, it was pretty important that they ended up exactly where I wanted them to be. 
So again, just working on these transfers one at a time, each individual little piece, laying it down uh, slowly, uh, using that transfer stick to push the transfer down, pulling up the vellum piece, and making sure that all of the transfer is adhered. And then once the transfer is completely down, going back and burnishing everything in with a piece of the transfer vellum. Once the transfers were all put down where I wanted them, it was finally time to seal my paint and I just decided to go ahead and use a coat of DIY's clear wax for this. I love the matte finish that the clear wax gives to a piece and it's pretty easy to apply. So I just went over it with one good even coat all over of the clear wax, wiping it back with my shop towel as I went and just finishing up this piece. I absolutely love how this little table turned out. I think, like I said, it's a great piece to have in your home all year long and not just at Christmas. guys think of my projects for today. I hope you liked them and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I so appreciate that. If you haven't already, please think about subscribing to my channel and then just hit that little notification bell so you don't miss anything. And don't forget to drop a comment below and let me know which of the projects your favorite one was. Also, as a reminder, any of the, the DIY products you saw me use today can be purchased through me at my website at www.theeclecticcottagespokane.com. I am still working on finding time to get the redesigned stuff up and loaded onto my website. Fingers crossed, hopefully soon. For Tuesday's video, I am hoping to have a thrift haul for you. Um, the next few days are going to basically be concentrated on getting fall out of the cottage and starting to work on getting Christmas in here. I've got a couple of projects that I need to work on along with all of that. So it's gonna be a very busy uh, few days over the next few days. I'm thinking about honestly being closed here at the cottage on Halloween and the day after just to give myself a little bit more time to get everything done. So we will see exactly what Tuesday's video looks like. Um, and But I hope you'll join me for it. Either way, I have no idea what it'll look like at this point, but it'll be fun. <laughs> so I hope you'll be there for that. Anyway, I hope you also have a great weekend and I look forward to seeing you back here on Tuesday. Bye.